Okay, getting ready to go out for uh, supper. Instead of doing a long ride, since there is uh, no way to get here, we're so far into town, there's no way to get to really good riding roads and stuff like that. Uh, what we're going to do is just uh, go to a nice little restaurant and uh, visit, have a nice meal and everything like that, and then drive back. So this will be a night I can do a little bit of resting up and be ready to uh, go through Iowa tomorrow. I just talked to Bilma about since US 30 comes right through here having him do the section in this area for next year and he said that'd be cool and also since we got between now and 2013 if it kind of keeps growing and expanding I was thinking of getting a couple of those Lincoln Highway historic signs and having everybody along the way uh, sign them, doing like a handoff. I could hand off to uh, the west side of Illinois to whoever takes on uh, Iowa and goes on from there. And then hand off at Chicago Heights on the east side of Illinois for whoever takes it across Indiana and farther and have everybody along the way sign the the sign and then when they both reach the east coast have them mailed back to me and then uh, I put them together as a pair with everybody's signature that participated in the project and then just have some kind of auction or something like that and however much money they brought take that money and uh, donate it to Lincoln Highway for their 100th anniversary because I'm pretty sure they're going to have some kind of celebration for the 100 year anniversary of Lincoln Highway but where we're at right now on Dodge Road, if I go just a little bit that direction and then go up north on 29, that's where I'll catch Route 30. And it kind of winds its way through Iowa towards Fort Dodge. So I can get really close to the area and explore some of that. Just in case I have time and nobody else takes it on for doing Iowa, it's possible uh, either myself or LJ or a combination of uh, Either one of us with someone else could possibly even cover some of Iowa if we don't have somebody to do it. But the original plan is just to do uh, Illinois and then see from there who wants to join us and who wants to take it even further. But so far this is great. About 90% of the meetups are taking place. I mean, it's, uh, it's a bit sad that I don't get to see Harvey in uh, Wonderland, but... So far, everybody else that I've wanted to do a meetup with uh, has been able to make it. And that's unusual nowadays. I mean, I don't blame anybody. I mean, I don't hold it against anybody for not making it to a meetup because at home, when people want to do uh, rides together and stuff like that, I warn them that half the time I may end up having to cancel too because of family obligations and taking care of kids and stuff like that. Life just gets too hectic sometimes, so. It's no worries. It works out the way it's supposed to work. But as you can see, obviously, uh, Bill Ma's bike is very distinctive. I could see when he was out on the highway before he even got onto the frontage road and came towards where I was staying. I could definitely tell it was him. I mean, there was no doubt about it, so. I was in my room looking out the window and that gave me enough time to grab my gear, get the camera ready and everything, and have him pull in the lot, so. Then again, I guess everybody's pretty recognizable, too. I mean, me with my red jacket, red helmet, and reddish maroon Triumph. It's kind of distinctive, too. And last time I was in, uh, in Ohio, not Ohio, Omaha, I went out west of Omaha to the uh, Strategic Air Command Museum. 
that is a place if you like airplanes now I used to live near Dayton Ohio so I went, went to the Air Force Museum there but this uh, Strategic Air Command Museum is even I think a step above at least compared to what I remember the Dayton Air Force Museum I don't know it might be better now but the thing I particularly like in the SAC Museum is they let you get up close to the planes nobody yells at you I mean you can get up basically uh, walk underneath the planes look up inside the bomb bay doors stuff like that uh, a lot of the airplanes they've also taken an, an engine out of them or else put another engine that's a duplicate of what's in the airplane and they have it on a stand next to it so you can actually for a geek like me that wants to see the mechanics and stuff that's just the greatest thing where you can uh, get up close and see that. And at the time I was there a few years ago, they actually were, they had one of the original Apollo moon space capsules that they were working on doing a restoration. So I'm guessing by now, if I were to go back to the SAC Museum, which I don't have time for this trip, it's likely I would uh, get to see that on display unless they were just restoring it for for some other place but you can also see one of the hangars you can see through glass windows you can actually see the stuff they're working on and what they're restoring so it's a very open very hands-on kind of thing they don't try to keep you away from anything they try to get you involved with all the stuff as much as possible and I like museums like that is also where my mother-in-law is from. She's uh, moved from there to Chicago suburbs to live with us so we can help take care of her now. And my wife and uh, her brother were born there. So all of my wife's side of the family are pretty much from Omaha. I think there's still some cousins left here too. Like my wife was saying, uh, they're mostly older ladies and I would probably scare them if I came by to say hi. I don't know if they even remember me from any of the family reunions or not, so probably wouldn't be a real good idea for me to go by and knock on the door and say, hi, I'm your, I'm one of your relatives. Oh, there's a couple that might remember. I went, I went to a few family reunions. amazes me is Omaha so much the way it's laid out and the way uh, just the way everything is the way the streets run and everything it reminds me so much of Kansas City I mean they're in close proximity to each other they both had stockyards downtown railroads downtown although like Kansas City the downtown stockyards in Omaha are gone now too they're closed down but they're almost kind of like sister cities I think So far I've been very fortunate with the weather other than getting rained on for a, a very little bit at Deals Gap. It was enough to fill up my boots with water. That was kind of a pain to deal with. But other than that, all the rest of the storms have been either passing to the north or the south of me. And it certainly looks at least until I get to Minneapolis, I don't see a sign of any other storm that's going to catch up with me. Yes, I'm showing Bill Ma's license plate too. He doesn't mind his license plate just like I don't mind about mine either. Thousands of people see it, so when you're out riding around, so no biggie. This would be nice. This is a nice steep hill. This would be nice for hill testing. <laughs> 